We good? Way! Hey, hey! Hi, everybody! Load up YouTube so I can see myself. Happy Friday, everybody! Is that new having me on that side over there? No, it's just the way there. Hi, bizarre. Not used to it, obviously. Hi everybody, happy Friday, happy Friday. Hope you've had a wonderful week. Let's get the old chitty chat chat popped out so that I can keep up with everybody's comments. Is it not that one? I wanna do the mixed chat so that I can see everybody. Is this everybody here? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. Woohoo. Give me a shout, let me know that my audio is okay. Hopefully you can see me and hear me all right. Amy's here. Hey, Amy. Amy and I have a date next week. Do you know that, Craig? I should probably tell you. Amy and I are going to this, the theatre. The theatre, darling. Gonna go get din dins in London town. Mm -hmm. And Tanya's here. Hi. Hi back to New Zealand. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Way. Well, I am. Um, I actually crafted this week. Amy can hear me, that's good. And that was definitely something that I think I needed. My, my internal crafty person was very, very uh, pleased by the fact that I was crafting. <laughs> I was like, let me out. If I don't craft in a while, they start to go a little bit crazy. <laughs> um, so I was very, very pleased I was able to craft. Um, I've got some cards here, <clears throat> you guys will, um, if you were watching last week, know that I made a couple of these Kath and Pooler cards on the um, the stream last week. But um, I just, I couldn't get enough of them. So I went to, uh, I, I went back to my craft room and crafted a little bit more with some of these. This is that GeoCurves background builder set here. And I love that it looks really like a pattern paper. So that's really fun. And then um, the uh, oh, this one here as well that I, I used the same geo curves background, but I embossed it in white on white and then used the ink to almost do like a fuller color effect here. And I added my little others. That is just showing off having time to craft. <laughs> I know, right? Well, it, it kind of is showing off because I never get to do it. So yay me, I'm so proud of me. The other card, the other thing that I did actually, oh, this was the other one. I used the potluck borders for this one, except I totally wasn't paying attention. I had um, I had my Amazon uh, dot, Echo dot uh, Blair and uh, show tune. So I was singing away. So my my rainbow got a little bit muddled. My, <laughs> my orange should have been here and this should have been yellow, but uh, it's fine. Nobody will notice, I'm sure apart from when I tell them. Um, and then the next day, what I, oh, I did this one too. The, what, the other thing that I wanted to do was um, I had a whole load of backgrounds and stuff that I had made on a live stream with you guys before Christmas using the um, Nouveau Glacier paste, which is that paste that gives this impression of foiling. And I, I, have, I have this little red tub sitting just up next to me um, and I had all those backgrounds in them and I thought it was about time that they actually uh, made it into some cards. And I love the shine on these. Some are definitely more like the gold has definitely got more uh, shine than the silver I think. This one just seems a bit duller or something whereas this one seems smoother um, and this is the green but uh, I posted these on um, the Tonic Studios group and also on Stamp Junkies. Look at this grass, can you see it? But I don't think you can really appreciate how shiny it is until you see it on the video. Uh, Tanya says, what's the name of the foil paste? Let me go grab grab it so that you can see it. And then you'll know what it looks like as well. Okay. 
it is this one here. So it is called Nouveau Glacier Paste. And um, I have seven, uh, six colors. Um, I think there might be more colors now, but I definitely love the gold. This is the gold one, oops. It's called Golden Era. Oh, that's nice. And this one is called Sea Sprite. And this one is called Frostbite. This is really cool. And then I have a green one, a red one, and a silver one as well. And um, if you are wanting to see how I made the backgrounds, you can zoom back and look at my previous videos. And uh, follow me, watch it on replay to see if uh, see how I made all these different ones. Some of them I applied with a spatula, some with my finger, I think, and some with my uh with, with a baby wipe actually um so it's really cool this one looks if you look straight on it just looks like red card and then if you look at an angle you get that silver sheen on it it's really pretty it's really nice <laughs> tanya says um yeah it's really nice ooh, ooh, ooh. so let me put these away and um i have got a couple of things that we can do today um, and the choice is kind of yours so let's see um, I have actually been on my feet since just before three so um, I will be impressed if I make it past 10 o'clock never mind past midnight well I'll just have to take one step at a time so um, at Christmas I think I showed you a little peek at what I had in here this is stuff that I picked up over Christmas and I've played with the picture changer but I haven't played with anything else yet. So we could play with some Hello Sweetums. Probably not penguins, I'm not really in a wintry mood. I've had it up to here with mud and cold but oh we could do this one because um, I was baking today. That was fun. I'll tell you all about that in a minute. So we could use some Hello Sweetums and get straight in. Or if you're in, go through and um, show you what all I brought home from Creativation and maybe even play with some of that. So the choice is yours. While you, I've got two big bags down here full of stuff from Creativation. So you might be interested in looking at my haul, my crafty haul. Um, that I brought home from that. So I mentioned that I was baking. Hi Pam, hello. Um, uh, so my friend Sam, she is having a friends themed birthday party tomorrow. So I decided that I was going to make her a cake. Um, if you, you might not have seen, but over on my, I think I've just shared on my Facebook, I should really put it on my Instagram. I've only made two cakes so far. Um, and I've loved both of them. And to me, it's, I actually don't really care about eating the cake, but I love decorating the cake. I guess it kind of comes back into the design thing of, um, you know, of uh, like card making and things that I, that uh, is the decorating of the cake and making it pretty that I really want to do. <laughs> Tanya says creativation. All right, so she's got her vote in. <laughs> No problem at all. So I've made, um, today I have made, well last night I made cakes, so three um, six inch lemon cakes. And last night I made some lemon curd to go in it. And then today, during the day I made some meringue pops where you basically put, pipe the meringue on top of, I used a paper straw. Uh, so that's exciting too. Tanya has voted Creativation. Uh, and then I uh, made lots of buttercream and I have buttered, buttered, not buttered, iced the cake and um, made some fondant letters and a fondant decoration to go on top. So I'm exhausted and my feet are sore. So let's have a mooch through everything. Ooh, okay, right, so this is bag number one. I'm gonna set it over to the side and go through it. Hi, Daniel. Hello from Israel, hello. 
Uh, Amy says they're bringing out some more this year. I think you mean the, the Glacier Pace. That's exciting. Do you know what colors? Because I want to know. Okay, so Creativation, um, most of the stuff that I have here was from like goodie bags or events. And then the, the events that you get, the goodie bags that you get a selection of things from companies that sponsor that event. So some of them are not paper crafting. Hey, Becky. Um, so some of them may seem a little bit random, but I just took everything home because I had space for it anyway. So I got a pillow insert, which um, is actually quite nice because it padded out my padded out my suitcase nicely. And then some polyfill which is the, the fiber that you can put into um, your own plush toys, etc. I actually brought this home because Ranger has this really bad habit. Yeah, you, I'm talking about you, buddy, uh, of plucking a hole in all his cuddly toys and then like de-stuffing them, just taking out all the stuffing. He thinks it's like the best thing ever. And then I have stuffing all over my house. <laughs> okay, let's dig in, see what else we have in here. Um, and I, I won't even know where half of these things came from. Um, and this also is the first time since Creativation that I have um, gone through these. So let's see, we've got a Tootsie Roll, put that there. Creatively, Creatively Beth. These look like little coloring pencils. All right. More doodle lettering and crafting inspiration at creativelybeth.com slash blog. I don't know who she is. Artist, designer, and instructor. And then I guess this is like a little thing that you can color in. I don't know, maybe she's just like a blogger. But put together a little bundle of things. Let's have a look and see what this is. Oh. Okay, so this looks, this is called a mono twin and it says it's by Tombow. Let's test this guy out and see what the dealio is. Okay, so the night, it's definitely permanent. I can smell the um, acetone. Very nice indeed. Okay, so it looks like a double edged, <laughs> double tipped uh, permanent marker, which, yeah, oil based marker made in Japan. Cool, so I guess it's a bit like a Sharpie, but it actually is much more comfortable than a Sharpie. So you can write on ceramics and things like that. Did bloggers hand out goodies too then, asked Pam. Um, not usually, but um, if, for example, one of these people wanted to sponsor the event, then I guess they could if they wanted to um, donate stuff for the goodie bag, then that's a way of getting their names out because um, not only do bloggers go to those events, then people like me are there as well. So I might pick this up and be like, oh, who's this person? I'll go and follow her. And then who knows, that could lead to future opportunities as well. All right. I feel like I'm just gonna have to go for it. Okay, so I have got here, Nouveau watercolor pencils, hair and skin tones. This definitely came from the Hedgehog Hollow breakfast meeting. And I do have some watercolor pencils, but they're really old, just really basic ones. Um, so this is exciting for me because I haven't tried the Nubo ones at all. Um, and what I also like is that I got the these color tones because I do a lot of, I don't know a lot of people, but I do a lot of um, 
critters and browns and greys are definitely useful for that. So that's exciting, skin tone watercolor pencils. I can't remember where this came from. I think, oh, actually this came from an event that was um, like a dinner that was sponsored by um, Zyron. So this is a mini sticker maker. I don't know if you guys um, have seen these before. I have one of these that is probably 20 years old and um, it's an orange X like this and it's probably about that big. It's probably in my cupboard to be fair. Um, and it has two rolls inside it one which is um clear sticky and then one which is a release and what you do is you take like a die cut and you pop it in here and you pull this out the end and um and then it turns it into a sticker so it puts adhesive all the way on the back i thought it was really cute to have that little itty bitty one A stamp set by Studio Katia. Yay! So she was Katia was giving out some of these to people who did the make and takes, and I managed to sweet talk her into giving one to me too. <laughs> Crafty friends are the best, and it's got this um, tube uh, of paint here and a love heart. So I really like that. I'm a big fan of um, things promoting crafties. All right, uh, no idea where these ones came from, but a set of washi tapes. I don't use washi tape a lot. I just kind of use it for holding things down. So we've got some uh, kind of muted colors, mustards, and some of this sort of greeny color here. So this is by Ranger, and it's the Wendy Vecchi make art washi tape put that back in how many people as do you estimate attended this year just one ring i am no good at things like this um i i wouldn't have a clue it might tell you on the website how many people they expected um <laughs> but i don't i don't know how many people becky how many people do you think would be there might be harder for you because if you're in your booth you probably didn't walk around so much it definitely felt smaller than previous years all right deco art um kit so this these deco art was at a um at the hedgehog hollow booth not booth that's a lie the hedgehog hollow breakfast event which was at 6 45 and i made it guys i am a night owl not an early bird and i made it i was so proud of me um and i ate several muffins to celebrate <laughs> so at the actual event um deco art were um letting you paint these things and you could do lots of fun things like crackles and stuff and i said to them i'm not actually going to make one now and um, because i had to shoot off and it wouldn't have had time to dry but i said um do you mind if i take one because i think piper would really like this i feel like why did we oh i think the video just buffered there hopefully you caught what i said i said to them that i think that piper would really like it um and um so they were like yeah yeah take it and then they give me a black gold dynasty brush as well which i'm very pleased with and i'm going to take that right away and put it up here <laughs> with my other brushes so that is a real nice okay what's this orange thing awesome okay so i feel like my um video is being a bit temperamental but can you see tonic so um an apron that says tonic studios um so that's nice should have worn that for my uh glacier paste <laughs> so the uh, signature tonic slash easy jet orange <laughs> 
they have a die cut machine called the Tangerine. So that is a um, very apt color for them. So that's a hedgehog, not hedgehog color, a Tonic Studios apron. It's always nice. Pam says, is Hedgehog Hollow a company or a blog on YouTube? Because I haven't figured it out. Oh, okay. Um, let me give you the lowdown. So the Hedgehog Hollow is, well, it started off as a, a YouTube by Alexandra Stapleton-Smith. She's British, but she lives in America. Um, and um, she, she does videos and they're really crisp. They're really beautifully edited and everything. She's really, really excellent. Um, and last year she started a kit so um yeah she's a kit company i guess um and they had this event uh this breakfast they had a booth this year and i think alexandra is also one of the um on the board of afci so there's probably another reason why okay so i haven't figured these ones out yet but we will have to do that together probably. So these are from a company called Artispree. This is a metal bag tag. So I guess, you know, for your luggage. And then this is permanent thermal transfer markers. So it says trans, let me zoom in so you can read it too. Transfer drawings from paper to white or light colored polyester fabric or polyester coated materials. Artist Free Permanent Thermal Transfer Markers allowed you to add your personal touch to everyday items such as apparel and decor using the sublimation heat transfer process. Um, so it says, put your artwork on plain copy paper using these markers. Keep in mind the final product is a mirror image. So any written text must be reversed. Um, the colors of the final transferred image will appear brighter than they do on paper. When drawing your image on the copy paper, be sure to protect the drawing surfaces from potential marker bleed. Once it is complete, secure your design face down onto the item you are transferring to using thermal tape. I don't know what that means, thermal tape. Be sure to remove any protective film from the item prior to pressing. Place this under your heating element before adding firm pressure. So that's like like an iron, I guess. You can get things that are designed for that. You could just use an iron. For best results, use a heat press or easy press. A household iron will work. Okay, cool. And then after pressing, allow the item to cool before handling. So I guess what we could do is we could um, draw something. Oops, let me just do that. We could draw something and then um, put, put on onto copy paper and then put it face down onto my luggage tag and then um, put an iron on top and then it will transfer over. Interesting. I think by the, the thermal tape, it probably just means something that's not gonna melt. Like you don't wanna use sellotape and it's gonna melt under the iron. But that's cool. That's going to be something fun to play with. I'm sure Piper will get a get. Um, it is just heat resistant. Tape says Amy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure Piper will love that one. What else have we got in here? A stamp from Graffiti. Yay! So Graffiti is the company that makes my stamps in America. I love those girls so much. What else we got? Ooh, okay. Um, a stamp set from scrapbook.com. Um, I don't speak Spanish, so if any of you guys um, make cards that um, this would be useful for you, please let me know, because this is not gonna get used in my stamp room. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> Feliz means happy something. Um, and something, maybe this is thinking of you. Gracias, I obviously know what that is. But I don't, and this maybe is hecho a mano. Probably means handmade, but I don't know. Solo para ti, no idea. It's cute though, I didn't know that they did multilingual stamps. 
So if you're interested, um, you need to head on over to um, heffydoodle.com and go to the contact us and send the details. And um, once it's gone, it's gone. More scrapbook.com goodies. So scrapbook.com is one of our retail partners um, and they also had a meetup for like bloggers and things, but I went along to say hello and um, they had goodie bag left over. So they very kindly gave me some bits and pieces. So this one's called Hugs For You. I love this big hugs. How beautiful is that? Thinking about you, sending, wish I could be there to hug you in person right this very minute. Hoping this little note brightens your day. And then we've got and best wishes and then hugs enclosed. So I like this. Solo para ti, only for you. Ah, pesando on ti is thinking. Oh, there you go. Loads of people speaking Spanish. Mariska Rittfeld is there. I speak Spanish, so what a part of me is only for you. The rest I got correct. There you go. I speak French. Uh, that often helps. It's like a lucky dip put my hand in here. What will it be? Aha. Okay. So you guys were asking about the Hedgehog Hollow. This um, must have been in, in there collection of stuff. It's a bit more art journaly or um, artsy fartsy. And we have got this, I think, what would you call that? It kind of reminds me like of a north-south compass type of thing, but it's not quite a compass. Well, I guess this in the middle looks like a compass. This looks like the jewelry dangling down. And then we have a moon with a lantern on it and another one of this like crescent shape. Miss you. This too shall pass. It's just a phase. Fly me to the moon. It's written in the stars. It's a sign we were meant to be together, thinking of you and sending love. So there we go. That's that one. So it looks like a couple of people are saying that they'll take it. Um, anyone who wants to be considered, go to heffydoodle.com and do the contact us, or maybe it's get in touch and put your details in there. And if there's more than one person, I will, uh, I'll look next week and I will pick someone randomly. All right, some felt. So we've got red, pink, a light pink and a dark pink. So I kind of like that because sometimes I put felt on my cards. It's really pretty. It's good quality as well, so that's nice. Aha, so um, do you guys know about the um, Collective Creators? So the Collective Creators was a website that was, I, I guess it's a bit like a forum where it was to be a kind of a safe place for people to go. You can learn things and talk, get advice and create crafty friends. Um, I um, did a, a live, I, I sponsored them one month for us Heavy Doodle and I did a live with them. And uh, they had some issues with their web developer. So instead of being at the collectivecreators.com now, they are over on Facebook, but you can definitely join them and they're absolutely amazing bunch of ladies and, uh, and gentlemen, I should say, I shouldn't rule out the gentlemen. Anyway, um, but they had this stamp set that they made, just a one-off stamp set, but I quite, I think it's really cool. So I like that. What's next, what's next, what's next? I'm gonna have to find homes for all of these. 12 markers. Okay, so these are branded Uli. Don't know Uli, I've never heard of them before. Drawing Duet. Vibrant colors in 12 jewel tip markers. Let's take a swig of tea and open them up. I'm not sure if these are like artist quality or um, it might be like a kid's craft thing. I'm not sure. I've never heard of them before. Have you guys heard of Uli? What does it say? Made in China. 
acid-free inks, oval ship barrel won't roll away. Um, I was looking to see if it said like pigment, etc., but it doesn't actually say. It just says acid-free inks. Gotta pick the uh, the teal one here. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, they're different colors. Ah, okay, I get it. So in there's 12 colors. I mean, there's 12 markers, but you actually get 24 colors. They're really nice. I like them. Um, I think probably this is a this can be a piper. A piper thing. I don't use I don't use markers in my craft stash other than alcohol markers, really. But she'll appreciate them. And they're really, they're actually really, really nice. I like them. What's next? Okay, this was a gift. So this was from um, the lady who um, was uh, sharing a B Airbnb with me. And she is a ambassador or something for 31. Now, I've never heard of 31. Um, but it is a company where you can get cool bags, apparently. So she gave me a bag like this, a snack bag. It had a crab on it for Piper. And then she asked if I wanted one. I was like, yeah. <laughs> so she gave me a flamingo snack bag. The crab one was brought to school the very first day I came, or after I came back. So I have not yet, um, well, actually, I, I haven't used this one yet because she, Piper, nearly stole it on me. So I had to swiftly put it away and hide it. And um, so that's my cute little flamingo. And thank you, Jen Gross, for that. Did you hand out any freebie stamps this year? Um, uh, I handed out some stamps and dies. I just took a bunch with me. I didn't make any exclusive ones, um, but I just took a bunch with me and I had a bag, a backpack, and I had some stamps in it. And then if I met someone that I that I knew or if someone came up and asked for a hug or something, I would just be like, here you go, lucky dip. And they would take something out of there. All right, um, I believe this here box of sequins a tub of sequins, technically, um, was from <clears throat> Spellbinders. We had a Spellbinders breakfast, and um, this was actually they gave us these really, uh, this really adorable bags. It was the a fun Stamper's journey bag. Mine's not here; it's inside because it's a really nice like handbag. So I'm going to use it. Um, and it had a few bits and pieces in it, one of which is these sequins. Some of the sequins in there are a bit big and cumbersome, a bit more kids crafty in my opinion, but um, the, the blue ones are really nice blue, so I shall take them out. Aha! Here's another thing that was in the Spellbinders bag, and I really like it. It's kind of cool it is a it's called floral high candy says great bags my lunch bag is 31 there you go has it got some fun design on it candy so you get here the um the die to cut the word high but then also this like frame with the um foliage coming out and some extra foliage then that you can tuck in I think it's really pretty. I can't wait to use it. Here's an example of how it's used. It's really, really pretty. What else is in my bag? Stop buffering, stupid computer. Uh, probably in the um, bag as well, some Jane Davenport stamps. A bit more sketchy. Once again, that kind of art journaly, artsy fartsy kind of style. Cute though. Buffalo plaid, boring but like, buffalo plaid's not boring. I love buffalo plaid. Um, not sure where this came from. Cindy McTeer Designs. Never heard of her, I don't think so. Uh, 15 Roy Drive, Georgia. There we go. 
a little bird once once again a bit more artsy all right so this here actually is from a company called Braun, and they give me this um at their booth i was talking to them um and they were um showcasing oh gosh what did they call it killer bee killer bee tape let me take these out first of all which is this tape here um and i was like what is this so it's essentially it's like purple tape but it's yellow but it's smooth um or it's like a painter's tape i guess um so i was looking at it and i was like can i just take a little bit home to try it out and they're like here have this have this uh, little kit so i'm really excited to try this out um for holding down stencils is probably what i will use it for the most but um i use the heavy memo tape a lot as you know but because it's paper i can't use it whenever there is um like a wet substance if i'm using paint etc so yeah, this is called Killer Bee Tape from Braun. And I also got a little sampler of their mounting foam. And they, oh, that's so heavy. And this is called Killer Red. And it's the red tape and it's really thick. So I, I don't actually have any really thick red tape. So I'm excited about that. In fact, I'm just going to set them out to the side as well so that I can find homes for all of them. What's this? Oh, an empty bag. What's next? What's next? What is this? Oh, I hate neon. <laughs> so this I was like, ooh, um, but I'm sure Piper will love it. And um, it's another set by Uli, neon watercolors. Let's have a look. 12 blendable watercolors, bright enough to work on black. Try these watercolors with Uli's Chroma Blends watercolor paper. Ooh, I like the, um, I like the clear case. Nice. They're chalky. They do feel like a, like, oh, hello. Like a kid's quality rather than a artist quality, artist grade. But they're sweet. So that shall be a, a, a Piper donation, I think. Got more rubbish in this bag than, than anything else. Another empty bag. What's that? Let's be social. Wear Uli. This must have. Cute and colorful 